One feature that I can show you that's the second half of this effect is the, um, is the slow shutter. So check this out. Um, what I need is something really dark. So See that EX3 in the corner? Not really, right? Not a lot of light on it. But <laughs> okay. So now I'm aimed at that EX3 camera. Doesn't have much light on it. But the Sony EX3 cameras, all the XD cam lines, have this special ex extra slow shutter feature that will allow you to virtually see in the dark. All right? So check out what I check out what I mean here. We jump into the menu. EX slow shutter. right here. Now, I'm going to first turn it on, and then you'll see that there are three settings. You can put it to 16, 32, or 64. Now, what those numbers refer to is the accumulation of light. So you can either accumulate 16 frames of light in one frame of recorded video, 32 frames, all right, which is even more light accumulated, or all the way up to 64 frames of light accumulated in a single frame of recorded video. Wild, right? OK. So let me, let me put that away just to show you. There's no grain here. We haven't, we haven't, you know, we're not at 48 super gain. We're just simply accumulating extra light and we're, yes, question? No, I just wanted to ask you, does that uh, transfer of still photography of like a three second exposure where you just leave the shutter open longer? That, precisely. It's like leaving the shutter, it's like leaving it exposed extra, extra long. Um, so if we do have any motion on the screen, it's going to be blurry, definitely. But if you're on the beach at night and are trying to get a nice shot of uh, skyline, something like this, it can look really super. All right. The other thing I want to mention is that at its most extreme setting, at 64 frames accumulation, um, that's very close to 1 60th, right? So if you're shooting at um, a time lapse interval of one frame every minute, one frame every 60 seconds, and you're uh, leaving the exposure open 1 64th, 64 frames of accumulated light. You've got something that lines up very nicely. Okay? So before I show you this clip, I ought to show you in the menu system, let, I'm going to turn off slow shutter here, the EX slow shutter, and show you just where to find interval recording. Interval recording right here, right? So we would turn it to on, and we would turn it to one frame every 60 seconds, every one minute. See me there? So in combination, interval recording, one frame every 60 seconds, and accumulating 64 frames of light in every frame of recorded video, you can put something really nice together. And uh, what I've got for you now is a clip. I call it the boat clip. Let me set it up for you. It's 9.30 PM in Miami. Miami River, not a lot of light. We're downstairs by a bridge where a boat is about to pass by. This is the summer? This is, the sum this is in November. <laughs> Let me set it up for you. It's November. <laughs> it's 9.30 at night. We're by the Miami River, and a boat is on its way. I had an EX3 and a camcorder, and I thought to myself, you know what would be really cool if I combined interval recording, one frame every 60 seconds, and this EX slow shutter to really lighten everything up. And so the result you will find here in just a sec. Check that out. So a couple things you'll notice. No audio. Okay, When you're in an interval recording, audio is not recorded. If you were just in EX slow shutter, you would get audio. But you would only have a refresh rate of one frame a, se one frame a minute, basically. One frame a second, excuse me. So um, the video wouldn't make much sense, right? It would be very, very juddery. So in order to make it make sense, I sped it up and only recorded one frame every minute. And so here we are. Check out a couple of things. That's an airplane. Looks like a shooting star. You can see Venus right there, present the whole time. Really blown out, right? Because we're just allowing its light to burn our exposure like crazy. Um, you can see the clouds as though it was daytime. And you get these really cool reflections of the light on the water. So I mean, that's 9.30 at night. And it doesn't look grainy. And it doesn't look gainy. It's just something nice that you can do combining two of the features inside the EX. Is that, is that, you got a question? Question from the chat room. Question from the chat room. Uh, can white balance be set with this feature, the extreme shutter? 
So uh, the question coming from the chat room is, can white balance be set uh, with, the extreme, uh, with the extreme slow shutter? A great question. Let's try it. So um, if I could direct your attention back to the monitor here. Uh, we're going to get interval recording off. We're going to go into EX slow shutter. And you'll have to pardon me. We're on a nice prime lens, so I can't really zoom into the dark. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little exposed, but we'll just close it up a little bit. And it was really difficult to catch the right, um, the right combination of iris when, when you know, accumulating all these frames of light because it's tough to get a focus. You only, your camera only refreshes once a second. You know? So uh, achieving focus was a little tough. And so combining your iris to, to expand and contract your depth of field, it's a little tricky, but you, know, you, can, you can make great pictures with it. So um, can we go to the menu setting for me? Great, excellent, all right. So here we are on, on slow shutter, yeah? And we're on white balance A, 3200. Let's get back into our picture profile. And our offset, yeah, our offset is still active. You'll see, you see as I dial it down, we sort of cool off a little bit here. I guess. Are we cooling off? Yeah. Yeah. OK, so answer to the web, yes. You can use the white balance offset with the um, slow exposure. Pretty, pretty blurry there. <laughs> Let's kill the menu camera. Oh, you already have. Excellent. OK. All right, so those are, those are two good examples where um, combining inborn features of the camera can really save you time in post-production. If you know how your shot wants to look, you can achieve it in the field. You can achieve it right there. Um, of course, you can do any of this stuff simply by recording normal and uh, bringing it into Final Cut, After Effects, whatever you want, and dressing it up. But not everybody's got the time for that. Some guys have to do all the editing, all the shooting, all the writing, all the directing. And uh, time, savers, time savers really make it happen. All right.